Hello everyone, last week we made wild garlic pesto and I still have some wild garlic left in the fridge. So today I'm gonna show you how you can make delicious wild garlic risotto with mushrooms and celeriac. So let's do it! And before we start the recipe guys, I wanna show you what I got from YouTube just a few days ago. This is just so crazy achievement, which I would never think of is even possible a few years ago when I started my YouTube channel. And it's all because of you guys. So thank you very much for your support. And I hope you will enjoy my videos even in the future. And now let's do the risotto. And the first thing I have to do is wild garlic puree, which I'm gonna use later on for seasoning of my risotto. And the recipe is very easy. You're gonna need wild garlic, shallots, caraway seeds and double cream. I start with chopping some shallots. I'm gonna need probably three for this puree and then two more for my risotto later on. So I chop them now at the same time. I also chop a little bit my wild garlic and let's start with cooking. I make hot a little bit of vegetable oil and I sweat my shallots for a few minutes. At the start you can also add your caraway seeds, but of course if you don't like them you can use even different spices, but what I found out the caraway seeds taste very good with wild garlic. Then I deglaze it with a little bit of water and also add double cream. I'm gonna use roughly 50-50 ratio and I'm gonna cook everything for around 10 minutes so the shallots become soft. After that you can add your wild garlic and you wanna cook it for around 1 minute. If you feel like there is not enough liquid just add a splash of water. And the last step is to transfer everything inside a blender and blitz it for around 3 minutes. And you end up with basic but super tasty and green wild garlic puree. So just put it inside the fridge for now and let's finish the rest. So the puree is ready and the next thing I want to use for my decoration are celeriac chips. So I'm gonna peel one small celeriac and then I'm gonna use peeler to create nice thin slices. You can also use mandolin but peeler is much more safe and the thickness is always nice and thin. And the last step is just to defry them in the hot oil for a few minutes and you end up with beautiful crispy celeriac chips. I just season them at the end with the salt and they're gonna be ready for the plating. For my decoration I want to also use wild garlic chips. These chips you cannot do in the oil, but you want to do them in the microwave. So I just put them on the plate and brush them a little bit with vegetable oil on both sides. And like this you just put them inside the microwave on medium power for around 2 minutes or until they get nice and crispy. And you should end up with beautiful decoration like this. crispy but super green wild garlic chips. And as my last garnish, I wanna use these beautiful shimiji mushrooms. So I just pick them now and then I cook them later on with risotto. If you're not able to find this kind of mushrooms, just use different kind and they're gonna work as well. And let's give one piece to my food inspector because I think he never had this kind of mushroom in his life. And apparently, he doesn't like them. <laughs> and at this time, I have everything prepared, so let's start with risotto. Little bit of vegetable oil, shallots, and I sweat them for a few minutes. After that, you can add your rice, and you wanna sweat it for another one minute. Then you can deglaze it with a little bit of white wine, and you wanna reduce it down. Pretty standard technique you would do for any risotto. When the wine is reduced, you can add water or any stock if you have and you're gonna cook it until the rice becomes softer. Don't put too much water at the start, rather put a little bit, reduce it down and put more if you need it. When the rice is like 90% ready, you can add your wild garlic puree and finish it all together. And in the meantime, I gonna sear my mushrooms. So very hot pan, little bit of vegetable oil, season it with salt and pepper 
and I'm gonna give them nice color. At this stage, it's rice cooked enough, so I'm gonna turn down the heat to minimum and I add some parmesan and butter. And if you enjoy today's recipe, don't forget to give a thumbs up. And if you're still not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below, so you're never gonna miss any of my new video. And the risotto is ready. Just check the seasoning for the salt, and let's do the plating. I start with good portion of the wild garlic risotto on the bottom of the plate. I make it nice and flat, and then on the top, I put my celery chips. My beautifully seared shimiji mushrooms. Few wild garlic chips. Some carrot tops for decoration and bonus taste. And my wild garlic risotto is ready. So what do you think guys? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to get another inspiration for risotto, check out this video and learn how you can make amazing prawn risotto with bell peppers at home. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.